What is going on, kid family? Welcome back to the channel. We got the head over here, and on today's video, we're going to be checking the deck height and making sure all these clearances are perfect and that the head is true and there's no warpage in the head. That way, we can reinstall this on the block and have no problems with ceiling issues. So, on this video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to check the clearances of this deck to make sure it is true and it doesn't need to be cut by a machine shop. So stay tuned for the entire video, guys. All right, guys, so here is the L61 motor. We took it apart, we cleaned it up. Check out the playlist if you are interested in what I'm doing with this abandoned motor we have. But for the most part, I'm pretty much ready to put everything back into this cylinder head as far as valves, retainers, and whatnot. The only thing I wanted to check today on this video is to make sure this area right here is perfectly flat because it, ha it has texture, if it has curves in it from overheating or whatnot. Even though we put a new head gasket on here and we put it into the, the short block, it still might have problems with leaking as far as coolant leaking or oil passages not really working the way they should be. So for this kind of procedure, what you're gonna need is a set of feeler gauges with multiple sets of thicknesses right now we're going to be using the smallest gauge here which is a zero uh, which is a point zero zero eight and then you're also going to need something like this a straight piece of metal that you can place on this head i'm also including a pen and paper with the drawing of the cylinder head to write down all my clearances if there is increased clearances in certain areas and essentially what we're going to be doing is placing this flat piece throughout the engine right here we're gonna check right there we're gonna check there we're gonna check there we're gonna check there and we're gonna go sideways we're gonna check there we're gonna check there then we're gonna go sideways here 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 here, here here and hopefully you guys get the gist of it and what we're going to be doing while checking this is what you want to do is place the material nice and flat you're going to take your feeler gauge and try to run it under this metal because if there is warpage your thin small feeler gauge will be able to go through such as this and that's okay there is allowable tolerances that you can get away with but you have to make sure you measure the head and then you're gonna do the same thing on the short block. And together, if it's under the maximal allowable tolerance, you can still run it or get a thicker head gasket. But for the most part, I'm gonna tell you guys, I checked all these clearances already on my motor using this method and everything is nice and straight. It seems like because this 0.008 gauge cannot fit in anywhere. And I've tried it in all sorts of directions and I cannot get anything on here which is very very good news because I was a little bit worried I was a little bit worried about this head being warped because it seems like when we took the motor apart there was a bunch of antifreeze mixed with the oil which again indicates a bad head gasket it could be potentially a crack somewhere on the head or on the block but I'm gonna rule it out as a bed head gasket. So for the fact that this is straight, leads me to believe that the motor was probably not overheating to the point where it would warp the mating surfaces. So again, I really got nothing to write down here. Everything checks out, but if you did have clearances, you would do something like this. Let's say you had 0 0.008 would fit through that. You would write that down here Let's say if you had clearances issue here, 0.10 fit through there, you would write that down and whatnot. And then you would keep this measurement for later when you're measuring the block as well. But pretty happy. This is all set and true. There's also things you can watch out for. There's actually these little pins here and here. And you can actually check if there was any previous um, machine work on the motor based on how much height you have of these pins right here so we still have a step edge on all these so that means we can still machine 
this if we needed to to get it straight if you get to the point where the surface is pretty much even with with these little holes here that means you are no longer able to machine this head and get this thing working you'll have to get a replacement head all right guys well i hope you like this video hope you learned something hopefully this l61 comes along together pretty fast um, check out the next video the next video i'm going to film also today but i'm going to be reinstalling majority of these components that are missing which again intake exhaust valves valve springs retainers camshafts and whatnot we're going to try to knock this out so i'll see you guys on that video thank you for watching like that video subscribe to the channel i'll see you next time peace I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, kid from California Trying to make it in life, it's school that never taught ya